What's up, guys? It's Gamma Di Gamma, or should I say Gamma Tri Gamma, for my inaugural YouTube appearance on this channel. Now, due to my appearance, there will be some slight changes to the intro. Instead of subscribing, now you can only subscribe. But don't worry, it's still a very, very serious math channel. In fact, today we'll be talking about the perturbation method, as you can see. Now, the reason for the change to gamma trigamma is that our little digamma here has sprouted a little extra growth and become gamma trigamma. So, hello guys, it's me again. And let's get started with our regular business. It's perturbation method, but for finite sums. Let's not jump into any differential equations or the like just yet. Assuming you have to calculate this, what, what are you going to do? Well, one strategy that I urge you to consider for perturbation method is writing the uh, n plus first term. Right now we have a sum from k equals 1 to n. We can write this as a sum from k equals 1 to n plus 1. Nothing inside changes, but then you can write this in two ways. You can write this as Sn added with the n plus first term, which is n plus 1 times 2 to the n plus 1. And you can also write this as write the first term out, which I believe will be a 2 plus sum from k equals 2 because we wrote the first term out to n plus 1 of, let's see, k times 2 to the k. Now just consider the right hand side. Because that's the first thing that looks promising. We can change the index of the summation to run from k equals 1 to n, which will result in a k plus 1 as the sum and. Okay. Now, with that out of the way, we can kind of simplify this. We will have 2 times sum from k equals 1 to n of k times 2 to the k plus 2 times sum from k equals 1 to n of 2 to the k. Now the thing with this is this term that I, I can probably highlight or point with this laser pointer is just Sn, the way we defined it on top. So it's 2 times Sn. Plus, we have two times, it's a geometric series from 1 to n. So that's the first term, which will be 1, 2 to the n minus 1 over 2 minus 1. That's just the finite geometric series formula. 2 plus 2 times s sub n plus, I believe this will be 2 to the n plus 2 minus 4. So there we go, that's our left hand side. The, so the, sorry, the right hand side. The left hand side is not that hard, it's just Sn and then this prefactor with that. So once you write everything out, Sn plus n plus 1, 2 to the n plus 1, that equals just this term 2 plus 2Sn plus 2n plus 2 minus 4. Now it's just algebra galore. Sn is 2 plus n plus 1 minus 2 times 2n plus 1. And then that simplifies nicely to 2 plus n minus 1 times 2 to the n plus 1. Now again, I skipped lots of steps in the reorganization of this equation. But if you don't believe me, and you seldom tend to not believe me on this channel, uh, take the intro for, for into account. Uh, if you don't believe me, just do it on a piece of paper. Pause the video. Sometimes learning, doing it yourself is the best way of learning. Now, let's move on to something a little more non-trivial. Consider. I should label this as 2. I don't know why I didn't label this as 1. There we go. So much for enumerating stuff. 
2. Sn is sum k equals 1 to n k squared. Well, same principle as before. Write the n plus first summation of uh, the sum and which is in this case k squared and you shall get sn plus n plus 1 squared equals 1 that's the first term plus sum from k equals 2 to n plus 1 of k squared and of course we work with the right hand side so 1 plus sum from k equals 1 to n of k plus 1 squared that gives us 1 plus sum from k equals 1 to n k squared plus 2 times sum from k equals 1 to the n k plus sum from k equals 1 to the n of 1 well this simplifies nicely to 1 plus this is just sn again plus this well this is something we, we don't really know let's assume we don't really know it's just the sum of positive integers let's assume we don't know this will be n and thank god it's finite for that purpose this will give you with the left hand side sn plus expanding the square here n squared plus 2n plus 1 equals 1 plus sn plus 2 times sum from k equals 1 to n k plus n the one drops D dramatically the sn also drops oh no isn't that what we wanted to find oh dear what are we going to do now well we assumed we didn't know what sum from k equals 1 to n of k was we're just going to explicitly get a formula for that which will be after simplification n times n plus 1 over 2 there we go so you kind of notice the pattern we took k squared as our, as our sn and then we just end up with a formula for k when you're summing over k so if you want to find a formula for k squared you guessed it we need to do a k cubed so holding that thought in mind because these thoughts are volatile trust me sn prime has got to be the function we use for the perturbative expansion k cubed and then sn is what we intend to find in the first example sn prime and sn were the same but that doesn't have to be the case so expanding it out like we always have we have a k cubed giving us a n plus 1 cubed plus sn and then the first term which is 1 plus sum from k equals 2 to n plus 1 of k cubed this would be 1 plus as the right hand side of course 1 plus you can change the index of summation here k plus 1 cubed and then just uh, cubic expansion for this 1 plus we have a k cube so that will be sn prime being summed up and then 3k squared so that's 3 times sn plus uh, 3k 3, 3 times 1 squared times k 3 times sum k equals 1 to n of k and then the 1 being summed from 1 to n which will be an n I'm skipping a lot of steps. Pause the video if you want to take time to ponder upon this. So Sn prime plus 3Sn plus we know what this was. That's why the detour was necessary. 3 times n times n plus 1 over 2 plus n. And then the left hand side, which is quite easy. We have an Sn plus, uh, we don't need the bracket, n cubed plus 3n squared plus 3n plus 1. And then terms are going to drop out. 
many terms are going to drop out. The nice thing is the SN prime will drop out because that wasn't something we really needed to find. Uh, let me uh, check my steps again real quick. Huh, okay. There should be, uh, I believe, an SN prime here. That was my mistake. So yes, this cancels out nicely. And we are left with, I will skip lots of steps. 3 times SN gives you 2n cubed plus 3n squared plus n after all the cross multiplication swashbuckling action. And Sn is then factorizing everything out. n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. That should be the answer. Yeah, apologies for the Sn, SN prime being changed to Sn. We're just using closely related, closely denoted variables. So, but the original function we're expanding about were Sn prime, so the Sn prime here. And there we go, that is indeed the formula for some of the square of integers, n integers. And there we go. And I hope you see the pattern. The only complexity for higher order terms is uh, the higher powers expansion binomial formula that you have to work with. And I know there's other nice, nicer methods for proving these identities and maybe there's other alternatives even for doing one and I please do not want unwanted suggestions in the comment section saying oh but we could have done this by some other method oh why did you why are you doing this the purpose of this video and please re read the title again is perturbative methods for finite sums and that's exactly what I'm doing in this video so yes Thank you for your attention. Thank you for being patient. It's been a hard I think the three weeks until the last video I uploaded. Thanks for sticking by. I, I am here. If even if I'm infrequent, I will be here. That's my promise to this community. And yes, please do subscribe.